What if I told you that over the next few days, you could build and sell your own app from scratch without writing a single line of code? You'd probably think I'm crazy. And to prove it to you, over the next 24 hours, I'm gonna come up with an idea, validate it, build it, and try to sell the whole thing to one of the hundreds of eager buyers who are just flashing their credit cards at me. Actually, let's be honest, I have no idea if I'm actually gonna pull this off, but I'm gonna do my best, and more importantly, I'm gonna break down every single step actionably so that you can repeat it, even if you have no technical skills. Okay, so that's the fun part of the video. Now I'm just gonna be facing problems. Starting with the classic, I have no idea what I'm gonna build problem. Well, let's talk about how I'm gonna solve that. Okay, so I have a couple approaches that I usually use when it comes to idea generation. And probably one of the most effective and easiest ones is the problem-based approach. It pretty much involves me sitting down and writing down a list of problems that I've had over the last 30 days. If there's a problem that I've faced, there's probably other people who have faced them. But let's be clear, this is a brainstorm. There's no guarantee I'm coming out with an idea. And because I'm a bit old school, I'm gonna be using good old pen and paper. The key here is not just to write problems in the world, it's to write things that happen to you. So I'm gonna take a moment to do that, and then we're gonna see how well this old tractor still works. Old tractor, that's not even a saying. And honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna tell you all of these problems because some of them will probably seem pretty ridiculous. But anyway, hopefully I come up with a good idea. And by the way, if you're scared of a blank sheet or if pen and paper is not your thing, then feel free to go and have a little chat with your LLM like ChatGPT or Claude to come up with some problems or even come up with some ideas from scratch. The ultimate goal is just to come up with an idea that's worth building. Okay, so I came up with a short list of problems that I faced over the last couple of days or weeks. And no, I'm probably not gonna solve the fact that my one year old wakes up at 5 a.m. every day. Another problem I wrote down here is that YouTube videos take a lot of time and effort to record. That's something I will be solving soon, but it's not gonna be what we're gonna build. Here was a pretty good problem. Business owners don't understand AI. Basically, I run an AI automation agency where we automate systems and build AI agents for companies. And one of the major problems we always face is that people have no idea what they should be building. And so this is a problem that's worth solving. Another one I faced was we are in the process of hiring an AI solutions architect and it is difficult, right? To find the right person and then to set up the right tests to make sure that they're actually perform like they say on their curriculum. So that could be another problem that we could solve. And the final one I came up with was I ordered something online and it was made out of wood. And then when it arrived, it was like super shiny wood and it didn't look shiny at all. And there was no indication on the, um, the store that I bought it from. Orders don't look like advertised and it causes refunds. So this is also another interesting problem that we could solve. So now I feel like we have three ideas we could take action with. Um, and I'm probably just gonna have a little coffee to determine which one I wanna do. Good old coffee, it works every time. I've made a decision. I'm gonna build an AI platform that allows business owners to figure out exactly what kind of AI agents or AI automations they should prioritize in their business to grow. For me, it solves the big problem that people have no idea what they need. So the idea is to create a platform that business owners can use and have a chat with an AI basically. And then after that, it would be able to fully determine the AI agents that these business owners should build. That way we can just build it for them and it saves us lots of time and it's easier to onboard people. And I would love for people to actually generate a whole report for themselves like a pdf and that brings up the question of what are the tools that we're going to be using to build this out so i'm going to finish my coffee and see you in the studio okay so i like tackling the hardest part of the build first and for this we're going to be using one tool to build out the engine you see i have a pretty complex workflow which basically is going to take all the information that these business owners give to me and then i'm going to use that to perform an in-depth analysis of their business provide very specific things they can build as recommendations and transform that into a pdf report and to do all of those things i'm just going to be using one tool the name of the tool is an automation platform called make you can check it out at make.com and honestly it's my favorite platform for ai automation because i kind of combines the easy to use and then is also able to build pretty complex stuff. The way that it works is that you have a trigger and that trigger creates an action, right? It's if this, then that logic. So in this case, the trigger would be the business owner providing me and finalizing the information that they need and they're sending it over. So we're gonna build what we call a webhook as the trigger. And then we want that to trigger a number of different modules so we can go all the way from the input to the PDF output. And that's the first thing we're gonna start building. Then we're gonna be sending that information over to Lovable. Now, Lovable is the second tool we're gonna be using. It's an AI coding platform that some of you have probably heard of that allows you to just write out what you wanna build and then it will build it for you. And the third tool is called Supabase. It's gonna be the platform that we connect Lovable to and it's going to be where we store all the data, the database basically, add authentication, sign in, sign out. I forgot my password, all that fancy stuff. And before I move on, I want to thank Make because when I reached out to them with the idea for this video, they accepted to sponsor it. So thank you so much. Go and check them out in the description. And that's where we're gonna start off building the workflow inside of Make. 
So if you come to their website, Make has a handful of different things. They do AI automation, they do AI agents, and they also have this thing right here, which is grids, which is basically a way where you can kind of see all of your automations in real time. And this is really for companies who need a monitoring system to really have confidence in their operations. So it's kind of like a visual interface where you can see everything that's going on in one place. Now, for those of you who want to learn Make.com, there's actually a Make Academy. It is a free academy to learn how to build automations. So let's get building. Once you log in, you're going to get access to your members account. Let's go ahead and do it. Now, when you log in, you can go to the top right and create a new scenario. So this is basically, it could just be connecting two tools that you already have. And this platform, by the way, connects all of your existing tools. So we're going to kick this one off with building a webhook. This is going to be a custom webhook. Then we would create another model. This is for us to receive the call. Then what we would do is that we would probably send that to OpenAI. And here there are a couple different use cases that you can use this for, analyze images, generate an image, and you can really connect any one of these. And now you see, boom, it's connected to the second one. So once we receive the information, we send it to OpenAI, something happens here. And that's pretty much what we're gonna do. We can connect it to all of the existing tools that we already use. So if I go here and I put, for example, Slack, uh, it will find Slack. It will also find all the things that you can actually do within Slack. And so this is a tool that we use pretty much every day at We Are No Code. Because I don't want to overwhelm you, we're going to be building out the scenario and then I'm going to show you the results and kind of explain what each one of the steps does. Okay, so that part actually took a lot longer than expected, but only because I chose to take the more complicated route. Let me explain. This is the make scenario that I built out for this workflow. Actually, this is the real workflow that I built out. Let me talk about each one of these steps so that you can understand what's happening. This first one is the webhook, simply sending the information that we gathered into this automation via webhook. Next, we have a metric calculation. So this is actually a, a scoring system that we've created for this automation. And this is where it got more complicated. Instead of just pumping out a full report in ChatGPT, I decided to break each different section of the report into its individual module with its own prompt so it would really create a good quality output. So the first one here is the executive summary generator. So basically to have a kind of overview then the uh, readiness scorecard with commentary in it, then another one for the process itself. Then I switched to using perplexity here for one that does the tool and agent recommendations based on the insight we have about the company. We then parse that data. I then have a module which basically creates a roadmap 30 day, 60 day and 90 day recommendation for implementations that will have the most effect. And finally, an action plan, which is the CTA composer. And then we wrap all those together in this last module and send it via webhook back. And so if I were to create a workflow and build it directly inside the software builders that I'm about to show you now, it would be a lot more complex, especially because this is a very in-depth workflow. And with Make, the process is so much easier. It's just one workflow that does all of those different things. And then it brings the information back into my app. And that's why I love Make. And so if you want to try out Make, you can go and click on the link inside the description that will give you one free month on their pro plan. But the problem I'm facing now is that I spent a good amount of time doing these first steps, which were super important. But now we actually need to build the app. And at the end of this, we still have to integrate this webhook and make sure that the app is working properly. So I'm running out of time, not to mention that I haven't even started outreach. And we know that that will, you know, from the time you reach out to people to get responses, might take some time, a little stressed, but let's, uh, let's just stay positive. What do you say? And more importantly, let's jump into Lovable. So here I've opened up ChatGPT and I'm gonna start typing, help me plan and create a prompt for Lovable to help me create a project that will assist users in helping to understand how they can leverage AI tools in their existing business. Then I wanna to explain to it that I want it to basically be like a voice experience. Then I wanna make sure that this prompt includes the goal, also a PDR, which is a product requirement document. It's gonna give a lot of information to the AI on what we're actually building, how it works. But at the end, I do something super important, which is help me by asking me clarification questions to help plan this better. And then as you can see, we have a bunch of questions that start coming up. So it's really asking me for everything that it needs to then create a great prompt for Lovable. So I'm gonna answer all these questions and then it's gonna give me a starter prompt for Lovable. Awesome, so now it's provided this outcome. I'm basically just gonna grab this and I'm gonna come over here to Lovable. This, my friends, is Lovable, a place where you can build full apps without writing a single line of code. You just have to input your prompt here and then it's gonna start cooking. And we're just gonna have to wait a little bit until it's actually done that. Boom, okay, look at this. Stop AI overwhelm, start smart. Now I'm gonna come here and and say now let's build in the auth and database with Superbase. So that's for login, log out, and to make sure that all the data behind this actually syncs and is saved. So now I'm gonna come here to the top right hand corner. I'm gonna click on Superbase icon. This is what's gonna pop up. 
we need to create a new project here. We're gonna go ahead and create a new project, give it a project name, and then it's going to start creating it. It's gonna then be visible inside of your Lovable account, and you're gonna be able to connect the specific project, this new project that we've created to the actual app. Okay, so I tested authentication. It seems to be working. Now I wanna go ahead and add the most important functionality, make sure that the actual voice works. So let's go ahead and check that out. It's asking me questions and then it's saying that I can record my voice as a solution to it. Not exactly what I'm looking for here. So I'm gonna to try to find a solution to actually have what I'm looking for, which is a little bit more of like um, just a voice experience. Please make it so that when I click on the audio button, it starts recording, transpiring my voice into the chat. And it should be clear that when I click on the audio button again, that it will uh, essentially send that to the chat bot. So now this pretty much worked. Then it's asking for my challenges. So my first challenge is actually the ability to onboard customers properly. Like each time I have to do it manually, it takes me a lot of time. And it's frankly quite frustrating to go through that process with every customer who comes on board. Okay, so now the chat interface works. So that's a great win, but we have to go quick now because I need this thing to work end to end. Okay, so now here it tells me that it is currently processing, which is actually good news. Um, and if it is still processing, I need to find a way to make that a better user experience. I'm first gonna wait until I see that it is actually processing and that it eventually does work and bring through the report. If it does, we have to just figure out the UI. Oh my God, I just went through hell. I just spent the past two hours really trying to figure everything out. The good news, my friends, is that I finally figured it out. The bad news is that First of all, I'm totally exhausted and I don't even know if I'm gonna make this challenge. The second thing is that I haven't done any outreach, so I might have to take some shortcuts in parallel to the original plan that I had. Christian, what was your original plan? Well, I've been quietly building an outreach tool that automates personalized outreach at scale, meaning that with this platform, you can build and launch full campaigns that are personalized to each one of the people you outreach to. And you can do this to find and close 10x more deals. The name of the company is called Outbond. And although we haven't launched it yet, I'm gonna be using it to do just that. But there are essentially three main steps you wanna do. First of all, you wanna build a list. Then you wanna enrich all the information about those people and find signals that show that those people would be great buyers. And third of all, you actually create personalized outreach messages and make sure you have an infrastructure that's set up so that you land in inboxes and are getting these messages opened on LinkedIn. And here's where I'm planning on cheating a little bit. I'm actually gonna use my own network because frankly, it usually takes anywhere between 24 to 48 hours for people to get back to you. And realistically speaking, most people will not buy from you automatically. So in parallel to this, I'm gonna use my network. Your network is your net worth. I don't know, someone said that sometime. And at this point, it's probably my best shot at getting people interested because I can already use existing relationships. And with no further ado, my friends, let's check out the platform I've built. When you come here to the landing page, stop AI overwhelm, start smart. And you can choose to either get your recommendation or to try the interactive demo. Now this is basically just the landing page over here. And it also explains the process. And under here, there is actually the interactive demo if you want to take that. And this will allow you to try out the experience, but in my case, I'm simply going to go to the top right here. I'm gonna click on start assessment. It's gonna ask me to log in, so I'll do just that. And once I'm logged in here, I'm gonna go ahead and start the assessment. So here, you're first gonna to need to allow while visiting this site to use your voice. Hi, I'm Alex, your business consultant, and it's basically telling you and asking you to um, give more information about your business. And so here we have a little intro and also asking you the first question, what type of business do you run and how would you describe your day-to-day -day operation? Okay, click on that. Hi, I run a business called We Are No Code. We're an online business uh, that teaches non-technical entrepreneurs how to launch their businesses and build their apps without any technical skills. And then I can click on stuff. Continue to the next question. Now, what are the two to three business processes or tasks that take up the most of your time each day or week? Well, it takes me a really long time to do onboarding for all of my new customers. That's really frustrating. The second thing is that um, I wish I had a uh, full-time secretary. I can't afford that right now, but um, basically it would be great if I could solve that problem. And also, um, it is uh, very lengthy to uh, create YouTube videos. Can you help me with this? So here you see it processes it. 
and then it's essentially gonna bring you to the next question. And so we can go through the whole thing like that and answer all the questions. The most frustrating thing is that I feel like we're getting lots of leads, but I don't actually get the time to follow up with all of them and we end up losing a lot of business that way. I have uh, two uh, people who help me with marketing. I have a YouTube strategist um, and yeah, we're all overloaded. And now it is generating your AI report. So what this is doing now is that it's sending all the information that I gave to the AI and it's all going into that make scenario I created earlier and it should be shooting back the full report in just a couple of moments here. Okay, now after checking my emails and messages, I got two messages. One of them just says, nah, bro, <laughs> from a friend of mine. So I guess that's a pass. And the other one was interesting. It was a friend of mine saying, I know someone who might be interested in this. So I asked him to set me up a, a meeting or a call or something like that. And uh, hopefully we'll get an answer from that. Then from the email side of things, my outbound uh, strategy got uh, four uh, answers saying no. And then I got one person asking me if it had a specific feature that I actually hadn't thought of. So I'm gonna be adding that this morning. And then someone else sent me a couple of additional questions. So I just got back to them about that. So unfortunately nothing's super solid, but that's why I'm just gonna double down on the outreach and hope that we get some more answers as well about this uh, a bit later on because we only sent the messages out last night. So the next thing I'll do is create and launch another campaign. This time, instead of targeting email, I'm gonna target outreach on LinkedIn all again through Outbound. So I'm gonna create a new campaign here. So this time I'm gonna ask for it to build a list of owners of AI automation agencies in the US. And basically I just do like that and AI is going to start building out a full list that fits this criteria. And now it is searching their LinkedIn profiles. Boom, and just like that, it builds out this list I'm then gonna be able to use to start the outreach process. But don't worry, this will be publicly available. You can click the link below to sign up to be first to get access. Okay, so I just launched the outreach campaign and I have bad news and good news. The bad news is that even though it's launched, there's a limited number of messages that you can send daily on LinkedIn, so I'll be limited by that. But on the good news, the buddy who said he had someone who might be interested connecting me via text message. And so hopefully we'll be able to continue the conversation. We don't have a text message back, just received this a couple minutes ago. Okay, my friends, I got some awesome news. I was in touch with this guy. I sent him a Loom demo of the actual product in action. And he sent me a little message back just saying, I'll pay 3K. And if there's 3K, I know there might be more behind. So I'm not gonna accept that. I think I need to go up to 10. So I'm gonna basically counter offer him with 10 and see whether or not they bite. Let's see, wish me luck. Friends, they got back to me and they said, 5K, final offer, take it or leave it. So I asked him to write a software transfer agreement, which would be the easiest way to sell this software. And so fingers crossed, subscribe to the channel for good luck and hopefully we will close this. So now I'm gonna call Chad, my COO, and I'm gonna tell him the good news. Yo, so I was recording a YouTube video that's basically built out a software and now I have some guy wanting to pay 5K for it. 5K. A lot of money, but I think I think we could probably do better than that. I think we could probably use that as like a lead magnet and uh, do a lot more with it. I don't know. What do you think? Oh my god, I hadn't even thought of that. So you're saying that we shouldn't sell it for five k? I don't think we should sell it. I don't think we should sell it at all. I mean, we don't like need that money. You think you can make more with it? I think we can make a lot more with it. Long term, my friend. Long term. <laughs> I love that, dude. All right, let me give this some thought and uh, I'll call you back. Okay, so I got some good news, my friends, and I got some bad news. Uh, the bad news is that my COO did not allow me to sell this platform. The good news, however, is that we can definitely make more money with this. The other good news is that if you're a business owner, you can right now click below and test it out and see whether or not there are some recommendations that you'd like to implement. So even though I didn't sell this platform, I feel like it's a pretty good testament to what is possible. And if you want a more in-depth video that runs you through the step-by-step -step of building an app with Lovable and Superbase, then I highly recommend that you check out the video showing on the screen right now. And again, thanks so much to you, to make.com for making this possible. And now I need a friggin' nap. Let's go.